So today I'm going to talk about my 2020 goals. I know it's a few weeks into January now, but I decided to actually hold back because I feel like there's a whole bunch of videos happening at once on them. So I just waited around because that's me. <laughs> so I will start by saying that in my happy planner, um, I actually freaking planned this. So now I have, um, three months worth of three planners in here, but I also added my goals at a glance from power sheets. So I have this one in here and I also added my pending penny list. So I'll be figuring out a better way to do that. But for now it's just kind of washi taped in here. So I wanted to go through all of my overarching goals and then I will go into um, what are my goals for the next three months. So first, these are my 2020 goals. I have different categories in power sheets. I should have said that earlier. I think I said that in another video, but I'm not sure. So <clears throat> first, let me tell you all the categories. So first, let me start off with saying that I actually have different categories than what they have for the power sheets and I might have mentioned this in another video but if I have it I'm going to give you a rundown of all the categories that I have and I'm actually getting them from the magic of eye planner I really like their categories so I kind of just went with that so the first one spiritual this goes with expansion soul being the next one is mental mind learning wisdom the next one is work so it's career, contribution, and service. Then it's love, family, relationships, and connection. Money, financial wealth, and income goals. Social, connection, community, fun, and physical. Health, fitness, and well-being. And then inspiration, travel, creativity, adventure. So those are my main categories I'll be working with um, throughout the year, I would say. And my goals within each one of them are as follows. So first, I have my physical goal of getting to a goal weight. And my goal weight is 145 pounds. Um, the reason why I chose that, I think it's still technically over the ideal weight when you do all those calculators. But honestly, I've been that weight that they want me to be at in my height and all that stuff. I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> And so I have my own ideal weight that has nothing to do with all those calculators out there. So mine is 145 and I am comfortable at that weight. And so I chose that one. So mine is get to 145 by December 2020. If it's December 1st, great. If it's December 31st, fine. <laughs> um, my next one is my work goal. And uh, as I mentioned before, I'm a life coach and I primarily work with women. So my goal is to serve 60 women this year. And following that is a spiritual goal, and that is to study my spirituality. And I actually have a happy notes for that. So it's filling out that happy notes with a whole bunch of information. And then the next is money. And my income goal this year from all of my sources is $60,000 for the year. And then it's love. And that one is just reconnect. Now, as I said, these are overarching goals. Some of them may seem like hard steady goals, like the weight and the money, but some of these are just overarching. Um, so the slow one is to reconnect. Um, my mental overarching goal is to read 36 books. <laughs> Here's a picture of how much books I got from the library the other day. By accident, I, um, you know how people shop on Amazon? In the middle of the night and then regret it well i know that not that i regret it but i kind of put a lot of books on hold and then they all came at the same time so yeah if anybody's interested in any of the books i'm reading i know i haven't mentioned any of them but one of them is a uh, woman code another one is this one gretchen rubin outer order inner calm um this one actually was not on hold i just saw it there and i'm like whoop want you. <laughs> so I'm very much going to hit the 36 books. I've never been much of a reader. I mean, I've always listened to some sort of self-development, but honestly, sometimes it'll take me two months to listen to one book. And now I'm just like a sponge. <laughs> so if you guys want any videos on books, I'm probably going to make them anyway. But if any of the books 
are very in particular to you, um, just let me down, down below. Um, I'll post a few that I got. The next one is social, and it's just be social. So, I was a hermit last year. <laughs> like, low-key, real-key, but yeah, I was. Um, because of my heart condition, neural condition, whichever which way you want to call it, it actually made it harder for me to go out, and I also hurt my, or I was recovering from surgery, and enter excuse here. I didn't go out much, and even when I really wanted to go out, my mind said no, and so and then I told people no. But this year I'm going out more, I'm already going to two things this month, which is great, and then am I doing anything in February? I don't know. But in general, I want to be social. And then the last one, inspiration, is be creative. So I never saw myself as a creative person, well maybe when I was a kid. But not, not in my adult years, for sure. So I want to kind of reclaim that and be creative. And that's kind of where Happy Planner comes in because it's making me, like, play with colors and stickers and everything. And so it's really fun. So now I'm going to go over my goals for the next three months. And I don't know where I put that. I think that's still in my power sheets, actually, which should not be there. I'm going to stop for a second because I was about to laugh. This is a side story. I'm sorry. Um, Jason this morning said he really liked my hair. Right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, why do you like my hair? And I looked in the mirror and I was very confused. I'm, I'm getting to the point. He said, you brushed it. <laughs> first of all, yeah, I don't really brush my hair when I first wake up. I'm sorry. But. I didn't brush it. All I did was like do this thing like a few times just because my hair was annoying me, but I didn't brush my hair. And I said, thank you. I didn't brush it and, or something like that. And he said, it looks organized. <laughs> that was the, I guess, most sincere, genuine, weird compliment I've ever had on my hair. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no one you laugh so much that you start crying. Happened to me. Okay, back to power sheets. So where did I put that? I think it's over here. All right, so my quarter one, aka first three months, aka January, February, March goals, for people who don't know what quarter is, um, are as follows. Sorry, I've been very hyper today. Very. So these are not in any particular order, it just happens to be the order that I wrote them. So my physical goes first, because it's the one I'm kind of mostly on, so maybe it isn't an order. Might be. My first one, from January to March, so that's the end of March 31st, I want to lose 10 pounds. Uh, that is, let's see, I need to lose about 30 pounds this year. So I figure trying to do the first part to be kind of low but kind of high at the same time might be easier for me, but also like motivating slash. Let me try to explain that. So I have 30 pounds to lose. There are 12 months in a year. I'm doing it by quarter. So there's four quarters in a year. You would think I would do it in a slightly different way, but it's not going to be 10 pounds per quarter. It's mostly going to be, most likely going to be like 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 5 pounds, five pounds <laughs> because the last ones are always like super hard so I'm gonna give myself more time with that so know that know, know your body when you're trying to lose weight I know for myself that in the beginning I have like a little struggle then I release the weight pretty easily once I'm you know eating healthy like <laughs> smoothie but near the end when I'm really trying to get to that like specific number it takes like forever so I'm giving myself room for that and so it's that's generally what I'm deciding now. I may change in three months, but right now it's 10, 10, 10, 10, 5, 5. That's what I'm going to do. All right. So next is, oh, and I have sub goals between that. So a sub goal with that for this month was to walk a mile a day. And I will say right now I'm walking a mile a day. I'm actually walking a little over a mile a day, which is a big difference from last year when walking to my down my driveway to my um what's that thing the mailbox I got dizzy doing that so big difference but I'm enjoying it I'm actually thinking about next month I may try to lightly jog I haven't decided 
I have to be very careful with my heart, um, but I also have to, you know, give her the opportunity to do her thing. So, enough rambling about that. My work goal, remember that one, the overarching was 60 women. This one is going to be 15 women. So I want to serve, which means work with, which means sign, six, 60. Oh, yes. Let's not do 60 in three months. That's a lot. That's a lot. I want to work with 15 women. Um, this quarter. Now, if their packages go beyond the quarter, that's totally fine. Uh, my spiritual is to start my notes. Um, so I actually already started my notes. Um, so I guess technically I already did that, but I also, what I did already so far for that is I started, I actually started thinking about more things I wanted to look into and I made a page of that. So I may have wrote that a little too vague. It's okay. So that's going to be more detailed in my month to month tending list. So yeah, I didn't honestly think I was going to start it until probably March, but I guess I started it earlier. It's actually really fun. So, um, my income goal for three months is $5,000, which may seem low, but that also kind of goes with, you know, taxes and, uh, getting equipment or anything that also costs me money. So it's more like, like the money I keep. <laughs> Um, and the reason why I made it a little lower than it's going to be the next time around is because I'm pivoting quite a bit. So I have to give myself that little, um, like comfort space for that. Again, it's all about knowing where you are, knowing where you want to go and you can shoot for the moon, but if you stretch too far, you might have a motivation effect going on and it might stop you. So that's when I come in with realistic tech goals. Um, I'll come back to that one because apparently I didn't write anything in there, but mental, I have created a reading routine, at least three books a month. <laughs> I don't know how many books I'm reading this month. I do have a reading routine actually currently. Uh, it may or may not stay that way. I have to figure out what to do on days that I walk with Jason. Um, and I'm just saying that because when I go walking, I listen to a book. So when it's an audiobook, that routine is perfect. However, when I'm walking with Jason, obviously it'd be kind of rude to listen to a book. So I didn't really read anything in the last two days, but skimmed through something. So I need to figure out that routine of the days that either I'm walking with Jason or when I have library books and I have to read them. So I'm still trying to create that routine. So that's a goal. Um, Social. Attend three meetups. Great. I have scheduled two. There is actually one kind of meetup-y thing happening in March. So technically I would get my three, but I want more than that. Um, now I want more than that, which is kind of exciting. But I know I'll have at least three things I'm going to. So I pretty much will hit that goal, which I'm proud of. And then inspiration. I put, I don't remember writing this. It's cute. Um, happy planner routine, which I'm currently trying to do because right now I like either I grab it when I feel like it or I grab it because I'm like, oh shoot, I need to put something in there. <laughs> but I'm working into that routine. I'm just having fun with it, honestly. And the other thing I've been doing is a hand lettering course, which kind of goes under this inspiration, creativity type of goal. So those are my quarter goals. And then how I'm working through some of them, because you don't, you can touch all of your goals if you want to every month, but you don't have to. Um, so how I'm, how my tending list is looking for January, which is in my happy planner, I have complete hand lettering course that goes to inspiration, uh, gather clothes for a clothes swap, which kind of goes into a goal I didn't write, but it's probably going to be in there cause I have spring cleaning going on there too. So it's kind of being comfortable in my house, getting rid of things I don't need, but it's also a meetup. So it's, uh, it's a clothes swap, which is sounds so fun like I may get new things that are new to me and they may get new things that are new to them which is great um finish a uh, course that I'm doing for my life coaching 
um, podcast interview that, depending on when this goes up, it may or may not have been recorded, may or may not have been already published. So if it has been, I will update it in the link below. Um, <clears throat> Facebook Live. I actually did the Facebook Live today. and It's all about time mindset, which I will be posting a video of for my channel in the coming weeks. And social media scheduling for February. I haven't started it. <laughs> but actually, I kind of have. I soft started it. So I have some things that I want to post. And this is mostly for my Instagram. Um, I don't really do much on my Facebook page. But I probably should. Should, should give that for some love. Uh, declutter office, which I kind of been doing. I've kind of been moving around. I'm trying to get everything like the way I want it to be. But it's not quite there. Uh, okay, and then meal plan for at least five days. So I don't meal plan on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because that's when Jason's home and I don't really meal plan. We kind of just figure out our day. Meal prep. I've been doing pretty good at that. Uh, I'm actually probably going to the store today to actually batch cook more chili because it's so good. Um... I have eat clean five days a week. I've been struggling with this. Mostly because I have a pack of Oreos near my nightstand. They're no longer there because I ate them all. So it might be easier now. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I've been doing pretty good though. I went from like eating a lot of Oreos to eating like one or two. So giving myself credit. Still not clean, but I get myself credit. So I haven't actually checked the box. This is my attending list and I haven't click, clicked. I haven't checked the box for that because technically I didn't do it. Um, checking with budget planner. I have, yeah, I did that last week. So I'm doing pretty good on that. 30 minutes of studying for my spirituality. One hour max. Why did I put a max on? Oh, I remember I put a max on it. So just going to like forever research hole of stuff. So yeah. Should probably stick to that. Apparently I did that last time, so that's good. Um, IG story three times. Didn't do it last week. Kind of did it this week, but not really. Need to get better at that. Uh, at least one Postmates run. So even though I'm a life coach, I actually still do Postmates. And it's mostly because it gets me out of the house. <laughs> it's kind of fun. You get to drive, give people food, whatever. And you get money for it. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I put at least one Postmates run, run one hour max uh, for per week in January. That may change in February depending on how everything starts shifting. But right now that's what I'm doing. And honestly, me and Jason have done a date night with that. So our date night actually instead of spending money, we made money, which was kind of fun. Uh, and I put a one hour max on there because sometimes it can be a pretty dead day. This happened to be a few months ago. I'm just kind of driving around or just kind of like looking for another spot to sit at to hopefully you're in a hot spot. I think I spent three hours doing nothing. So I have a one hour max, which when I did that run last week, it made $18, give or take. So that was pretty good. Uh... So for daily habits, I have walk one mile, which I've been doing every day, uh, 60 ounces of water a day, which I missed two days. And it was simply because our filter went bad. That was the only reason. I like I could have went to the store and bought water, but also I didn't want to. So it took like two days for get new filters. So now we have a whole bunch. Um, but it was so funny because I don't think I realized I was doing it because it was the day before that, that I realized that it was bad. I was making tea all day, so I didn't notice. I either made tea or I put it in my smoothie, so I didn't notice. But I stood there, I don't remember, I think it was, what was it, Friday maybe, and I drank water. And I was just like, this tastes horrible. It tastes like I'm drinking out of the tap. And depending on where you live, don't drink LA water. It doesn't taste good. Um, it's not filtered. I know some places you can drink out, out of the tap. You really shouldn't hear. It won't kill you. It's just not good. Um, so I have this little, with my zero filter, I have this little, like, I have this little, like, meter thing that tells you if the water is good or bad or whatever. And it was pretty near of coming straight out of the tap. So 
not filtering. So I had to get a new filter. That's the only reason I didn't hit 60. <laughs> I don't even know if I should count the day that I did because technically it wasn't good water. I mean, after boiling water is fine, but some of it was just going to my smoothie. Um, read a book. Been doing every day, except Tuesday and Wednesday. Journal, which I've been doing every day. There's maybe two days that I journaled the next morning for the previous day, but you know, kind of catches up. It's fine. And then practice lettering. I've been doing that every day too. So that's my 2020 goals, my quarter one goals, and my January attending list. All in one video. Um, from this point on, I'll probably make a video for my tending list for the following month, just telling you what I'm doing. And um, I will also make a video of how I did for my goals for the last time, my tending list. So at the end of January or slightly beginning of February, somewhere around there, you're going to get um, me updating you how I did. And then also a video talking about February. Now I do have a question for you and if you guys don't answer it's fine <laughs> but let me know in the comments below if you would like a video with them together. So do you want the video to be both January's updated tending list, the completion of it, with February working tending list, the one that I'm making. I can either make it while you're, while, I'm, while you're watching me or whatever or I can just talk through it. Do you want those together or do you want them separate? Which one? Let me know which one you want. Just let me know down below, whatever. I'm making this content for you guys, so it really doesn't matter to me any which way. I just need to know how to edit it, basically. Uh, because honestly, I might be recording it the same day, and then I'll just release it separately, or I'll put it together. So that's that. And if you have... Oh, and then I'll, every three months, I'll give you my new goals for the following months. And I just want to ask all of you a few questions. One... What is one thing you're really looking forward to in 2020? And what is one thing that you think is going to be super challenging for you in 2020? I really want to know. I'm not just asking for comments. Like, I, I want to know. Um, I'll probably respond if there's something that's challenging that I think I can, like, give some information about. Either I will respond right there or I'll make a video about it. So if there's something that's really challenging you, let me know. Maybe I can help out or I can find somebody who can help out or I can suggest a resource. So I'm just here to help you if you want anything. So I will see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.